That's the next leader right there. They call some fire cap so I can get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> they remember back in the old days, them old niggas kept saying, Roll it. <laughs> <laughs> like y'all from a different planet. <laughs> everybody looking sour. <laughs> I felt like everybody was cold in the morning or something. Yeah. Can't do it all. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Your sister Jeanette got a smile on her face. <laughs> sister D is here today. I thought you was going to be going out of town today. No, it's this weekend. Can I change your mind? No. no. This is the day we will rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Give God some praise in this house. It's good to see my sister today that had surgery. That's your daughter. Come back. She don't have hoods and thirst. Oh, okay. So okay. Hey, bless you, bless you, bless you. Bless you, bless you. Good to see mother came in this morning. Amen. And all my father's children. Amen. This is a beautiful day. The land of the dying on our way to the land of the living. Amen. The wicked will cease from troubling, Brother Joe, and the weary will be defeated. And rest. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. First Sunday in May. Amen. And this year is rapidly going on by. Amen. Almost a half a year already. Amen. But God, but God. God keeps on doing what he's doing so well. Amen. Don't deserve to be alive, but look at us. You're here. Amen. Well, it's a cross over to the other shore. God is beyond our fault, Brother T. Amen. See our very need. Yes, sir. I need is Jesus for Christ. Amen. The anointed one of God. Certainly we are thankful to God for you. I'm glad that I'm able to get up this morning and uh, be able to come out to the house of worship one more time. Amen. And I'm just going to continue to give God the praise. And it's nice today. Give them another hand, this is today. Every time we mention the Lord's name, we ought to have somebody saying, giving him praise. Amen. So sometimes we think we, are, we deserve to be here, but we think about it. No, no. There are others that thought they were going to be here today, but they're gone. Amen. But God. Amen. Amen. How's Mother? Uh, Washington. Yes, ma'am. How's she doing? Oh, I talked to her this morning. She's wow. doing pretty good. She's going to keep on the prayer list and she's coming along. Wonderful. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I missed that. I missed those songs. Someone just bring out a song. Mother Ola. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, she brings a song out and that that up your thing. Mm -hmm. Anybody in the house got a good song this morning? Praise song, song that's going to lift us up in the spirit today. Amen. 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 So, first, you got a song? You got one this morning? All right. <laughs> Jesus is on the rain. Why don't you tell me? Oh. 
A cousin on the 12th, a son on the 26th, and another cousin on the 17th, and an 
uncle that's deceased on the 14th. May we stand? May the 23rd. Here we go. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you.
And have a joy about the money. Amen. We, act, we don't want to be secret about money, giving in God's house. We want to be open. Amen? Amen. 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 That's why we have an envelope with our money in it. Hound up. Give a report to the church body. Amen. The church body will know that the money is being spent toward the house of the Lord. Amen. We're going to ask Brother Larry to give us a report on how much we've received in our building fund. I know it's on the wall, but you still need to hear it. Brother Larry, would you please? First of all, we want to thank each and every part of us. I'm giving to the building fund because y'all know we don't try to get back in our, our sanctuary over here. So we want to continue to ask you to give as your heart desire. Uh, for the month of April, we uh, came up with 13.49, which we were down a little bit, but hey, God is still blessing. Yes, uh, we keep asking folks to keep continue to give as as they heart can as see fit. And the Lord bless us in many ways. So thank you. Did you give a total on that, please? Uh, it's a little bit over six thousand dollars. So I like over six thousand so far. So we have a total of six thousand. Give the Lord and the praise. Mm -hmm. Right on the left, Dr. Dog. No, no, Money coming in, y'all ain't playing. <laughs> Somebody ought to be happy. Amen. Amen. Now let's try it again. Give God a hand to pray. Somebody that's coming. God bless you. All right, brother. You know, see the time is up. Oh, just a little faith. 
where it used to take days or months to get results of what's happening in our world. Amen. It only takes a few minutes or less Amen. to find out what is happening. Amen. My fellow sisters and brothers, yeah. I said all that to say this. Even though you might have surmounting problems, seeing that there is no end in view, seeing like there is no help that can be found, I would like to let you know today that help is on the way. Amen. We should not look at how big the problem we are, but look and how big God is. Amen. And count your blessings. Amen. Can I say it again? Amen. We should not look how big that our problems are. Oh, yeah. But look at how big our God is. Amen. I say our God. Amen. Not just your God. Amen. But our God. Amen. He is a big God. He sits high and looks low. Matter of fact, I come closer to that. He lives within us. He moves and allows us to have our being. So we count it a blessing to know that God loves us. One and all. And he looks beyond our faults and still sees our very need. When you think you have got it bad, someone else is worse off than you. Amen. Amen. I used to go to the nursing homes and visit those that are in nursing homes. But when I used to go, I get a little bit depressed because my mind would go back and think about once upon a time these People were out in the world doing their thing. Amen. They had jobs. Mm -hmm. They had families that they could be around every day. Amen. But you know what, my brothers and my sisters, I found out once you get into a nursing home, there's no coming out. Folks not coming in to see you. I used to visit a mother at our church. She would cry sometime when I go. Cause the children wouldn't even come to visit her. Uh -huh. Broke my heart and I just had to quit going. I just, I couldn't take it no more. Yeah. Because I saw myself in that mother, mm -hmm. Brother T. Mm -hmm. On down the road, the older you get, the less important you become. Amen. Amen. See, young folks are running rapid, they fast, they, they trying to get to somewhere they haven't been yet. Mm -hmm. I once was there. I want to hurry up and get 13. I want to hurry up and get 21. I want to hurry up and get 25. Amen. But after you get 25, then you don't want you want it to slow down. You don't want to go <laughs> it goes too fast after 25. You seem like 25, then you're getting 30. Amen. 30, then you're getting 40. 40, then you're getting 60. Oh. So we don't realize how good it is when you're young. Amen. Uh, I know David said, I once was young and now I'm old. I've never seen the righteous forsaken or the seed begging of bread. But still doesn't stop you and I from becoming old. Amen. When you become old, as I said, it just seems like the world is still moving, but you can't go nowhere. Amen. Amen. Take a pause for the call. Amen. That's why we look back and how God gave us a let me say it like this. God gave us a computer in our brain. Amen. And allow us to look back and see what we used to do. Uh -huh. Amen. That's why we can remember stuff what we used to do better than we can yesterday. Amen. Or today. Amen. Might put my keys down over here one hour and the next hour I can't even find no one to put my keys. Amen. And I ain't getting this by myself or y'all folks to say me back. You might be old to get about where you put your stuff. Amen. Amen. All right, you just wave your hand. See, we got a witness back there. So first, we need to let 
other folks know that we have a God that loves us one and all. Amen. He doesn't, God doesn't forget about us. That's, that's why the Bible tells us we need to learn about the Lord while we're young. Amen. And when you get to be old, and then you can always talk to the Lord, and the, and the Lord will talk to you back. He, he, he'll, he'll answer your prayer. Amen. Come on, talk to him if you can. Amen. So I just want to let you know this morning, as the psalmist says, make a joyful noise unto God all you know. Oh, yeah. and you ought to make a joy. See, when I come out this morning, y'all sitting so quiet. I said, Lord, they should still be out there praising and giving God the glory for allowing them to come through a whole week. Amen. We came through Sunday through Saturday to the day. Amen. Nobody saying anything about how good God is. Didn't oh, yeah. one sit down, they ain't saying nothing in the choir. Ain't the congregation not saying, I said, why they so quiet out there? <laughs> I can't believe they're quiet like that. Yeah, like when the funeral home at a, at a wedding or something. Nobody saying they sitting there with their hands like this. Amen. God done woke you up this morning. Oh, yeah. Can't nobody wave your hand. Amen. I'm around here in that song. If I couldn't say a word, yeah. I just waved my hand. Amen. Somebody should have been saying something. You had a powerful Sunday school. I'm sure you did. I know Brother Joe done talked good this morning. Somebody still should have been on fire from Sunday school. Amen. Let me leave y'all alone. Before y'all be done took me and gave me a good whoop. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm not. Satisfied with, with how we as a people can't continue to praise God for his blessings. Amen. If you start counting your blessings, you're going to miss some. Oh, yeah. Amen. You've heard that saying, I can't count them all, but I can't say thank you, sir, thank you. for the ones you've given me. Amen. My brothers and my sisters, Proverbs 3 and 5 says, trust in the Lord. With all thy heart, and lean not unto your own understanding. Amen. In all your ways, acknowledge him. Amen. And what will he do? He will direct our path. Amen. You see, the world has a lot of junk to throw at us. Amen. But if we are truly trusting and leaning on Jesus, we don't have to be subjected to all those things that's out there in the world. Amen. Because our trust is in the Lord. Amen. Amen. When you stop and think about it, you might not have all the possessions that you want in this old mean world. Yeah. But the old folks used to say, as long as I got Jesus, mm -hmm. that's enough for me. Yeah. Because he did say, I will supply all of your needs. Yes. According to my riches, in glory. Oh, yes. Well, let me stick a pen there, my brothers and sisters. You don't have to wait till you leave here to enjoy the richness of the Lord. Oh, Every time you take a breath, that's just another blessing. Yes, Every time you look around and see the beauty of what God has created. Yes, thank you, Lord. I was sitting on my porch yesterday evening reminiscing about how God had brought us through a winter. Now we're living in the spring, Sister Betty. Oh, yes. I saw the ants crawling on my porch. Uh -huh. <laughs> they were speeding like they're on Highway 25. Uh -huh. Back and forth, back and forth, zooming and zooming. Some said, why don't you go get some spray and spray those ants? Mm -hmm. Then my mind went spiritual. And it says, as Solomon said, take a note from the ants. How they work so diligently, going back and forth, what they're doing, Brother Preacher, they're going to get some food for the winter. Amen. See, if you just look at how God had allowed us to be here to watch his creation. Amen. A few weeks ago, there were no leaves on my trees. I looked around out there and all those beautiful leaves on those trees. Amen. I didn't have to put those leaves on those trees, but God allow his beauty to come forth for us to see one more time. Amen. I thought about how God allowed folks to leave this unfriendly world and we've gone to funerals after funerals after funerals. They're put in the coffin, put in the ground but my brothers and sisters, they can't see the beauty of God's creation no more. 
It's good sometimes to get off to yourself and start counting your blessings to see the beauty and the handiwork of God. Instead of complaining, you ought to be thankful. Instead of complaining about how there are bugs all over the place. But the Lord will say those bugs are here for a purpose. I don't know why God made spiders that crawl here and there. Don't know how it quite made it, but this is God's creation. And brothers and sisters, we need to think about how good God is. Amen. We ought to think about how God did all this. Yes, Lord. He had a mind to do it and he put it forth. Amen. Did he allow us to come home to watch his beauty? Yes. Amen. Amen. Be able to see the grass grow. Yes, sir. I look at the weeds. I, my, 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 my more, the, the, the lever, the, the, the arranger, the, the, the cutter up on uh, on the wall. It's not working like it should now, but I got to put it in the shop. And I said, Lord, I said, now I got to get these weeds out of here. I didn't cut it one time. I cut half of it, but then it left me here. Amen. You follow what I'm saying? Amen. Now those weeds doesn't look good to me. But those are God's weeds, Sister Betty. Amen. God put all those beautiful flowers out there. The flowers don't look pretty to me because I don't like them when I want to cut the grass and make the grass look green. But don't you know one thing, brothers and sisters? God knew what he was doing. He put the yellow flowers, the white flowers, the purple flowers. That's God's beauty in his eyes. Amen. So instead of me complaining about it, I say, Lord, help me to get past these weeds here. Yeah. Get my lawnmower fixed and cut the weeds down and the grass will grow, amen? amen. Oh, I guess I'm going. Y'all ain't hearing me. I found out something else. The more you cut your grass mm. or your weeds, mm. the more grass gonna come in. Yeah, <laughs> y'all didn't get that one. I didn't have to put no fertilizer on my grass, on the weeds. But bro, T, boy, I cut them weeds down. Man, I, the beautiful, the beauty started coming out. That grass, the clover. It started looking pretty. I said, look at that. I was start bragging on God. I said, he made it look like a golf course now. There were weeds there in the springtime. But the more I cut it, the better it looked to me. I said, look at God. I'm just trying to show y'all the blessing that comes from God. If you think about it long enough, if you think about it in spiritualness, you will see the beauty of God. Right. Now I'm going to go somewhere else where y'all don't want to go. Some folk don't like gray hair in their head. Okay. And they dye their hair. But God put that gray in our head for a purpose. Amen. <laughs> but now you ain't going to get no jury <laughs> But the Lord allowed me to see something, and this is what I'm saying. We go from stage to stage in our lives. Some of my friends are going on that I grew up with. Reading obituary a few weeks ago, I'm from Southern Illinois, and where I was born, one of my graduates, they, 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 he's in the grave now. But the Lord allowed me to see his picture in the obituary column by way of Facebook. Totally gray head, beard gray. Mm -hmm. But he didn't live. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 But I'm still here. Amen. Point I'm making is I can still count my blessings in this old mean world. Amen. I can still look around and say, God, I thank you, sir. I can count my blessings even though some days I might not feel like right. count blessings. Right. But he told me just look beyond where you are right now. Right. And brighter days are ahead. Right. Every day when I, when I wake up I say Lord right. I thank you. Right. Lord I can't count all the blessings that you've given me but I can say thank you. Right. When I think about how you brought me through Daniel's scene. 
and unseen. Yes, Sister Jeanette, I can say, Lord, I thank you. I might not have all that I think I should have. But I tell folks, as long as I got my help and my strength, I got everything. Then I say, son, think a little bit further. Brother T, I say, Lord, as long as I got you, I know I'm going I'm to make it the rest of the way. Because my scripture, y'all know, is Proverbs 3 and 5, when I trust in the Lord. Now for some of my heart, but with all my heart. And lean not unto Earl's understanding. Because I can't understand from A to B. But if I put my trust, when I put my trust in the Lord, He's going to take me from A to B. And when I get to B and things are working out there, I can go on from B to C. And when I leave there from C, I can go on from C to D. Right. And I leave C to D and I go on to E and F. Right. What am I saying? I'm saying each step of the way in life, we ought to just count our blessings. Right. And Sister Betty, when you think about how God has brought you in your life, you can say, Lord, I can look back and say, I don't have to wonder how I got over. I can say, I know. Anybody, anybody in the house gonna say, I don't wonder, but I know how I got over. Might have pains in my body, but the Lord is still carrying me all the way. Am I right about it? I didn't wake myself up this morning, but that's another blessing in the land of the dying on my way to the land of the living. And I can say, Lord, I thank and they me to get up and stand on your two legs. I can say, Lord, I thank you, sir, for allowing me to go into my bathroom without someone bringing me a pot to do what I needed to do. I can stand up. <laughs> yeah, Lord, Lord, and move on to the bathroom. I don't have to have nobody to turn the shower on for me. I can turn the shower on. And regulate the heat from the cold. He allowed me to step in the shower and allow me to wash this old body. Ain't God all right? Just another blessing from the Lord enabled me to do what I needed to do. Come out of my shower and enable me to dry myself off. Go into my closet. Get the clothes I need to put on this old body, children. Some of y'all might not think about that as a blessing, but I know it's a blessing from the Lord. Why, 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 brother pastor? Because I once was in the hospital. I couldn't get out and go to the restroom. They had to bring a pan to my bed. Couldn't go to the best restroom. But the nurse said, I ring the bell. The nurse come in there and bring me a pan. Can't go, but I think about stuff like that. What well, y'all might not think about it. But I said, Lord, when you allow me to get out of the hospital, I can go back home and do what I need to do. Because the Lord healed this old body of mine. Ain't God all right? I can count my blessings. One by one, I can say, Lord, at least I can say to somebody, when you put your trust in the Lord, he'll bring you out. Won't he do it, children? I say, won't he do it? Anybody, anybody, anywhere today, know the God that we serve brought us from a mighty long way. I remember when we didn't have the proper food I wanted to eat. But right now, I don't have a taste for food sometimes. Ain't God all right? But I can go and get whatever I need to get. Because God will allow me to put money in my pocket. Go to the grocery store. Put on the counter what I need or want. Ain't God all right? I 
I can say just another blessing from the Lord. Anybody, anybody in this church out today want to give God some praise? Why don't you stand on your feet and give God a praise? He deserves all of the praise. You can drive here, here and there. Don't have to have a taxi to pick you up. You can get up on the wheel of your automobile or your truck or whatever you drive. And drive wherever you want to drive. Ain't got to worry about nobody saying, don't stay in that too long. You can stay in the store as long as you want to. You can go where you want to go. Ain't God all right. I used to be a time when you didn't have no money to go buy some gas. You got to watch the gas hand all the time. Looking and wondering, is this gas I got going to take me far as I want to go? Now you can wait on your money check to come in the mail. Put some gas in your automobile. Try to and fro. Ain't got to worry about that no more. Because you got a gas card. Put the gas card in the slot. Get as much gas as you want. I'm talking about the blessings of the Lord. Anybody, anybody want to give God some praise? Tell him thank you. Tell God thank you. I'm counting my blessings right now, children. I can look back over my life to see where God has brought me from. He hasn't left me yet. I'm still standing in this mean, unfriendly world. I'm still telling the dying world that Jesus is who you need in these last and evil days. You need a friend that'll stick closer than a brother. You need somebody that will rock you to sleep at night. You need somebody that's going to wake you up in the morning and tell you everything's going to be all right. Instead of complaining, be thankful about Jesus who came into the unfriendly world, lived among men for 33 years, went to an old rugged cross, took your sin in my sin right there, hung right there until heaven was satisfied. He died. He died. Do you know he died? Tell somebody he died. Look at your neighbor and say he died. said he's seated at the right hand of the father pleading your case in mind Satan was said I, I, I accuse her of doing this and that but Jesus said father I died I died I shed my blood for all those that will come unto me just as you are weary your blessings. Count your blessings. You think you got it bad, someone got it worse than you. Give God some praise. God bless your children. The door of the church is open. I say the door is open. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed members of the community, and fellow believers, it is with great pleasure and enthusiasm that I stand before you today representing Word Chapel MB Church. Our humble church, situated in the heart of Ware, Mississippi, has been a beacon of hope, faith, and community for decades. Today, I come before you to share an exciting endeavor that we are embarking upon, the Rising Building Fund for Ware Chapel MB Church. Our aim is to take a transformative step towards enhancing our cherished place of worship, a place that holds deep significance for all of us. As we look towards the future, the need for a renovated and improved church building has become increasingly evident. Our building fund endeavor is not simply about bricks and mortar, it represents a commitment to strengthening the very foundation upon which our community is built. It is about ensuring that our church remains a sanctuary of solace, a hub of spiritual growth, and a haven for all.